So City Council is meeting today and new revenue tools to address Toronto's more than billion dollar budget shortfall are on the agenda. So Mayor Olivia Chow's executive committee adopted a plan last month that includes measures the city could implement to address its financial pressures. So staff have recommended things like a parking levy at commercial lots, hiking existing taxes like the land transfer tax on luxury homes, we're talking over $3 million, and exploring a municipal sales tax. The report still needs to be endorsed, though, by a council as a whole. And this meeting gets underway at 9.30 this morning. So joining us live now in the studio is Brad Bradford, councillor for Ward 19. Beaches East. You're a councillor. It's great to see you. So we know you're proposing a motion today. Uh, we'll pick that up later or just in a minute here. But as far as increasing money coming into the city, what revenues or tax tools are you in support of? Well, I think we have to understand that the long-term financial plan is really a conversation about affordability here in Toronto. And I want to remind folks, not that they need it, Toronto is the most expensive city to live in mm -hmm. in the entire country. So as a council, we need to be very thoughtful and considerate that we are not making life in this city more expensive and less affordable with additional tax hikes. Um, there is a need for us to do a core services review, get back to the basics of local government, understand what what we ought to be responsible for, what we're best positioned to deliver on, and make sure that those are the things we're focused on. The current long-term financial plan that was at executive and in front of us today doesn't actually, uh, doesn't look at any of the expenditure side. I want to make sure that we're doing that going forward so we understand what we're best positioned to deliver on. How long would a core review take, though, and is that soon enough to deal with the actual pressing uh, financial needs of the city? We need to make sure that it's done before we head into the budget in February in 2024. So that will be the intention. Um, I think it's imperative that we understand what the city ought to be delivering and how we're going to pay for it. And I will remind folks, this, this exercise hasn't been undertaken so, since 2012. Mm -hmm. A lot of time has passed. We're in a different financial world. With with different pressures facing the city. So now is the time to get back to basics and make sure that we're delivering on the state of good repair, on the roads, on the snow clearing, on the parks, all the things that people want to see here in the city of Toronto. That's what we need to be focused on. Yeah, it certainly sounds like a lot needs to be done. Uh, so a motion today won't be proposing any money raising ideas, uh, but you want to first change the homeowners rebate, which, you know, was first kind of dealt with in 2008. But as we know, inflation has gone up and that rebate amount hasn't changed. That's right. I mean, Mayor Chow wants to increase the MLTT on properties, municipal land transfer tax on properties over $3 million. Uh, I would say that the biggest purchase people make is home ownership, trying to get into the market. We need to fight for families. We need to stand up for affordability and folks who are trying to get into the market. Last year, more than 50,000 families left the city of Toronto in a flight for affordability. We need to be super conscientious and thoughtful and do everything we can as a local government to make sure home ownership is affordable in this city. I want to raise the rebate from $400,000 to $750,000. That is the average price for a condominium here in the city of Toronto. Mm -hmm. And as you said, Jennifer, that number hasn't been touched since 2008. You know, 15 years on, housing prices have tripled. So let's get back to what the, the first time home buyers rebate was really all about. And that was helping first time home buyers get into the housing market here in Toronto. Is your idea to kind of maintain the tax base then because you don't want to see people leaving the city and therefore leave that money leaving in terms of taxpayers? Because some people might argue, well, maybe bringing in a rebate, this isn't the time. You look at the Bank of Canada, they're trying to hold tight and keep people's, you know, uh, from doing the spending. If you give more of a rebate, you may get more spending again. Is that what we want is people to have access to the housing market here in the city of Toronto. Those 50,000 folks, those families that are leaving the city of Toronto, they have good jobs, they make contributions to our economy. We need those folks here in the city of Toronto to grow our economy, to do the jobs, to make contributions to our workforce and the talent here in the city. If they are leaving Toronto, that gets harder. So it's actually in our financial long-term interest to make sure people can afford to live here in the city of Toronto. And this is a uh, measure that we can deliver today at Council to improve affordability here in Toronto. <laughs> Okay, we'll see what comes out of that meeting, 9.30 today. Uh, Councillor Brad Bradford, thanks so much for joining us. Appreciate your time. Great to be here with you. Good Thank to chat you. this morning. Thank you, Councillor.